Shalom. So, um, so what is the Didache and why should we study the Didache? Now, the word Didache uh, comes from a Greek word which means training or teaching. This particular document uh, is a first century document and it's called the Didache or the teaching of the 12 apostles or more in a more long form, the teaching of the Lord to the Gentiles by the 12 apostles. It's important to realize when you're reading a document, uh, who's the author, when was it written and such. Uh, it is an anonymous document. Uh, nobody claims to be the author, you know, such as in the letters of Paul, for example. You know, Paul is clearly the author there. Whereas in this, uh, this document, it is anonymous, such that, you know, there are many other uh, books in the Bible that are also anonymous. So that doesn't really, you know, negate anything here. Um, it is dated by most scholars to be, uh, to come from the first century. And now this is very significant because we want to focus on first century doctrine and practice. So focusing on first century doctrine and practice, this is a very significant document. Um, it is the oldest written catechism. Now there is a, a man, uh, by the name of Eusebius, which uh, lived in the 4th century, uh, and um, he is an early historian and scholar. He mentions the Didache in his book called the Church, called Church History, in the uh, third book, chapter 25, verse 4. Uh, let's look at that very quickly here. Uh, this is his work down here. This is the, uh, again, Church History, book 3, chapter 25, verse 4, written by Eusebius in the early 4th century, okay? He said, Among the rejected writings uh, must be reckoned also the Acts of Paul and uh, the so-called Shepherd uh, the, and the Apocalypse, the, excuse me, the Apocalypse of Peter, and in addition to these, the extant Epistle of Barnabas and the so-called Teaching of the Twelve, or the teachings of the apostles, which is this is would be uh, referring to the Didache, and besides, as I, um, as I said, the Apocalypse of John, if it seem proper, which some, as I said, reject, but which others class with the accepted books. Okay, so it's important to realize that this uh, book, the Didache, is not accepted by uh, by some people to be uh, in the canon, so to speak, okay? But it is accepted by other people. Um, now, let me just back up a step here. Now, this is Eusebius mentioned this book uh, in the early 4th century. Uh, he mentioned the Didache, which is very significant. It is also significant to realize that the Didache has, had been lost for nearly 1,500 years. So from the time of Eusebius until uh, the 19th century, we didn't hear much of the Didache at all, except in the Ethiopian works, okay? Except in the Ethiopian doctrine and in, in, their, uh, in their scripture. Ethiopian Orthodox Church, that is. But in 1873, uh, in Istanbul, um, Metropolitan, let me see if I can get this right now, Philotheus Briennius found a Greek copy of the Didache, written in 1056, and he published it in 1883. Now, this is not to say, again, we don't want, we want to make it clear, this is a copy of the Didache that he found that was copied in the year 1056, not to say that the Didache was written in 1056 or that or that this was written in 1056 no this copy was dated at that time okay so um yeah uh as eusebius said it was accepted by by some and even today it's accepted as authentic scripture holy scripture and canon by some uh, accepted by the Apostolic Constitutions canon 85 it's accepted by John of Damascus and the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Okay, so why study the Didache? Well, I mean, 
if for no other reason at all, um, seeing that it is uh, considered to be a first century work, this is very, very important. And uh, some scholars uh, even date this uh, this document, the Didache, as early as the year 50, okay? 50 AD, which again is very significant because this, this could predate the letters of Paul and predate a lot of the other letters in the New Testament. Um, very significant. So let's get into studying the Didache. Uh, this is going to be, a, uh, I, I guarantee you, you're going to be very blessed by this. And uh, so yeah, let's get into studying it. In my next video, we're going to get right into uh, to studying the Didache. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out my blog, ChristopherEnoch.org. Thank you very much.